Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Thank you for ruining my video. Uh, yeah, but thanks. Uh, what was that? Oh yeah, damn garbage truck ruining my uh video. Uh, but welcome back to another episode of The Sims Three uh Generations, episode uh six. Last episode, Marty uh, had uh, we discovered Marty had uh, been unfaithful and cheating on Ash. So in this episode, we're gonna try to uh, see if we can repair that uh, relationship. Um, and as you can see right now, Ashley had caught on fire, so I had to go put out the fire and take a shower, put out the fire on her, and. Uh, our house is. I'm, I'm gonna delete this damn thing because every time we turn it on, it just catches things on fire. So I don't think there's no need for it. We just need to get rid of it. Put it out. We got a little one over there crying. Okay. And in case you're wondering why Ashley looks like a blueberry, she stayed out in the cold too long. Mm, no. Yeah, n no kidding. Let's turn this damn thing off. I'm getting rid of that. That thing caused too much damn problems. Okay, so we're just gonna have them come and sit on the couch. She wants to talk to him, so yeesh. Can't imagine what that's gonna be like. Yeah, Allison, could you feed him for us? Please, thank you. Where the hell are you? Okay. Nah.
Oh, wow. It's the baby's birthday. That was pretty damn quick. Wait a minute, hold up. No wamsy sotsy. Ah. Oops. Right. Okay, ah. so chat. We don't even have a So, that was uh, pretty quick. That escalated quickly. So, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, let's check on the hotel resort. Cool. Awesome. Okay, so I'll, I I will put down a um. That's pretty cool. Hmm. 
Oh, yeah, this is what I wanted to get. There you go. Should I get that or should I? Should I save to get the inheritance? Yeah. I think we'll just go, go ahead and purchase the hotel mobile. That'll be better. Yeah, so let's talk. Guys, um, in case you don't know the actual history of Ashley, go to bed then if you're tired. So the history of Ashley and Marty is very deep. Really. It's like really deep. I mean, deeper than deep. It's, it's more deeper than you think. Ah, let's see. Is it like those houses? Pick up Joseph. Joseph. Yeah. This, this goes way, way back. I mean, like, way, 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 way back. Yep. Yeah. Where's this? Yep, so this is, like, when he first started. His first girlfriend was B.B. Hart. And um, the story went something like this. <laughs> um... So, if you haven't followed my Seasons episode, then you wouldn't know Marty's storyline. But he basically enrolled in the university after, like, proposing going steady would be. And he also proposed to her. If it would show up here. I think it won't show up here because it's, it's, it's been a while. But... Yeah, he did propose to her, and, yeah. Oh, wait, this is when he was a teenage, yeah, but he proposed to her, and, um, she said yes, of course, but after that, see, here we go, proposed marriage to her, and she's, she said yes, but he also quit his job, and um, he joined journalism career. He got a promotion. He went, yep, and then he enrolled in the university. Yep. So. Yep. He went to the university, and. Um, doesn't show that, but after he went to the university, him and Ashley, you know, he met Ashley there, and mm -hmm. when he met Ashley there, they uh, kind of didn't hit her off at the first place, so he was busy studying and finishing up his uh, uh, degree in business, and so when he, uh, you know, Towards the end of him ending his uh, semester, that's when he began to uh, focus more on Ashley. And they went on a couple of dates. They did good. And um, they became really close friends. And because Ashley, she really kind of sad. She just didn't want any type of guy in her life because she felt like all guys were losers. And, um, 
because she had been treated real bad by all the other guys, and so she thought, like, all men were just pigs because they just used her for sex and they didn't care about her. And, you know, once they got in a relationship, once she got in a relationship with a guy, the guy would just totally, you know, be nice to her on the first couple of dates. And then after the while, when he got what he wanted, he just started treating her like a trash. And so that led to fights and arguments and breakups and it was like that with every other guy that she had met and and uh so marty comes on the scene and you know she finds him very attractive but at the same time she doesn't want to like date him or anything and marty on the other hand he he finds her very attractive and mm. can't get past her so he just focuses on his study and at the time being finished graduating and getting his degrees and uh you see right here that he did have a, have his first kiss towards the end. This all this in a while, he was in a relationship with Beebs. Mm -hmm. So towards the end of the relationship, of going back from the semester, he basically uh, came back home and told Beebs the truth, which was that he was no longer interested in her. And... So in between that time, fight, argument broke out, and so Beebs moved out of the house because she didn't want to have nothing to do with him. And after she moved out of the house, you know, Marty invited Ashley to come visit him. And she agreed, and that's when he asked her if she would be his girlfriend, to which she agreed. And, um, yeah. Then he worked on trying to um, move and get his own place. So what he did was he saved, he worked, and towards the end, where he got his own place with Gracie, he moved into his own place, he then proposed marriage to Ashley. Ashley said yes, and... Um, they got engaged, and after that, he had his uh, little bachelorette party, whatever you call it. Yeah, and uh, after that, yeah. So, mm So that's their story a little bit in the history. For the full story, you'll have to like go visit my seasons. Basically, in the long run, actually wasn't attracted to Marty until he persisted in going on a date with her. And she said, okay, fine, I'll try to get to know you. And that's what happened. One thing led to another, and she became attached to Marty. Yes, you will do that. Okay, perfect. Okay, Marty. Wake up. We take these two to the fall festival and uh gonna see what's gonna happen there. Well, not the fall festival, the spring festival, excuse me. If I could find it, of course. Let's see, Spring Festival. Oh, 
I don't see it. It's the garden community. Oh, Rave Warehouse? What's that all about? It's weird. Oh yeah, that's the casino thing on the gig. Actually, you know what? That might actually be the good place to go. Oh, wait, what's the gazebo? Actually, this is a good place. No, no, no. Eh. Where's a good place to go? Hmm. Yeah. Um, it's the graveyard. <laughs> of course I could take them there. Be like, you will die with me. Actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here. I think this is a good place to go. We'll go here. Art museum? Eh. Yeah, sure. This is the park though. just us. These two. So I honestly think Marty is remorseful for what he done. Um, judging from his actions, he does want there's a true saying, like, you don't, you don't miss what you have until the well goes dry. And that's somehow true in Marty's case. I mean, he's very unappreciative of what he has built. And sometimes that happens. You get in a comfortable position spot where you forget about everything that you have and you realize somebody planted a prank here and you realize at the end that when it's too late that you actually have something that's good there you go and he's gonna like just do his plant Marty does love his wife very much. He cares about her a lot. It's just that, hello, Karen. It seems like everywhere we go, Karen, oh, oh, we're gonna go say hi to our daughter. Damn it, how can we do this in a situation? Okay, friendly. She's like, Dad, oh, what are you doing here? Same question I was about to ask you, daughter. We're just going to catch up with our daughter. See how she's doing. Uh, chat. Wiggles at <laughs> Okay. Yep, yeah, so we're just, like, continuing on. Uh, 
me just talk a little bit with our daughter. Oh boy. So, um, let's see. What, what new gizmo? I'm actually curious as to what this is. Gizmo. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Show off new gizmo. And Karen's like, calm down, mom, calm down. I mean, you think you got it bad? This guy right here cheats on me all the time. Yeah, I mean, what's this? Buy a waterproof? I don't know. What's this? I don't even know how we can buy a waterfall. That's pretty cool. And... When, oops. My bad. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Um, yeah. We're gonna chat. We're getting there. She's slowly forgiving him. Slowly. But he's going to have to really work hard on gaining her trust again because...
Actually, we should talk to Don. We should be like, yeah. Well, nah. I think we'll leave it this time. And we should go home. Tiffany Parkins? Whose dog is that? I said home. Why is Socks lonely? Here we go. We'll end this date. Um, let's see. He passed out. What, what does he need? He's hungry. So, Marty, why don't you go and help me feed him real quick. Did you feed him? Okay. And what about Nathan? Okay. We always take care of Nathan, but we always neglect Jamin and, and, and Orlando. Does he know how to use the bathroom? Okay, I don't think we potty trained him. Uh -huh. Oh, she wants to play. Oh, okay, this is perfect. No, we're not taking a free vacation. Alright, so what we're gonna do is... Oh, Christopher's finally paying attention to us. Um... Alright guys, so leave a big fat thumbs up in this video.